Hi, I'm Lindsay Moss and here's your weekly update for movies. Starting off, we have last weekend's box office. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End had a weekend gross of $156.1 million. Shrek the Third came in at number two with $69.1 million. Spider-Man 3 with $18 million. Bug with $4.2 million. Waitress with $4 million. 20 week, 28 weeks later with $3.3 million. Disturbia with $2.4. Georgia Rule with $2.38. Fracture with $1.6. And Wild Hogs with $1.4. Now on to the movies coming out this weekend. My top pick of the week is a huge summer comedy. It is Knocked Up. Director Jude Apatow, who brought audiences the comedy 40-Year-Old Virgin and Summer 2005 is back. Here is a summary of Knocked Up, courtesy of MoviePhone.com. When a one-night stand that should have ended with the sunrise has unexpectedly permanent consequences, the reluctant odd couple attempts to transform their tentative relationship into a lasting love and a conception comedy from who brought people the view who brought the viewers the 40-year-old virgin. 24-year-old entertainment journalist Allison Scott was on the fast track to the big time when an alcohol-fueled one-night stand with responsibility sure King Slacker Ben Stone found her professional priorities taking a back seat to the prospect of parenthood. Now his overgrown kid Ben is faced with the choice of maintaining his career carefree lifestyle or assuming the responsibilities of fatherhood, his decision to stick around is only the beginning of the unlikely couple's nine-month courtship. In order to make things work between the pair, however, there's going to have to be some compromise, and when Allison and Ben decide to take a shot at love, they quickly find that building a relationship from scratch isn't nearly as easy as making a baby. Knocked Up stars Katherine Heigl of Grey's Anatomy, Seth Rogen, Paul Rood, and Leslie Mann. Knocked Up is rated R and comes out this Friday. The next movie is Mr. Brooks, starring Kevin Costner, Demi Moore, Dane Cook, and William Hurt. Here is a summary provi provided courtesy of MoviePhone.com. Mr. Brooks, a successful businessman, a generous philanthropist, a loving father, and devoted husband. Seemingly he's perfect, but Mr. Brooks has a secret. He's an insatiable serial killer, so lethally clever that no one has ever suspected him until now. Academy Award winner Kevin Costner stars as Earl Brooks, a man who has managed to keep his two incompatible worlds from intersecting by controlling his cunning, wicked alter ego, whom he blames for his wrongdoings. But now, as Mr. Brooks succumbs to one last murderous urge, an amateur photographer witnesses the crime. Suddenly, Brooks finds himself entangled in the dark agenda of an opportunist bystander, as well as hunted by the unorthodox and tenacious detective Tracy Atwood. Atwood. Can Mr. Brooks outsmart his advisories and conceal his shocking double life from his wife and daughter? Or will someone expose his crimes and identity once and for all in this unpredictable and electrifying new thriller? Mr. Brooks is rated R and comes out this Friday. The next movie coming out is Gracie, starring Carly Schroeder, Elizabeth Shue, Dermot Morloney, and Andrew Shue. Set in 1978, Gracie is an inspirational film about a teenage girl who overcomes the loss of her brother and fights the odds to achieve her dream of playing, so of a playing competitive soccer at a time when girl soccer did not exist. Based on true events from the lives of the Shu family, producer and co-producer Andrew Shu and Academy Award nominee Eliz um, actress of Elizabeth Shu, this film is directed by Academy Award winning director Davis Guggenheim. Who, become, who happens to be part of the family as well, being married to Elizabeth Shue. The film also features a terrific 1970s soundtrack, including a classic songs from Boston, Blondie, Aretha Franklin, and Boss and Bruce Springsteen. Gracie is rated PG-13 and is out this Friday. The next movie is Crazy Love, starring Burt Pagooch, Linda Reese, Bob Janoff, and Rusty Goldberg. Filmmaker Dan Caloris recounts the true story of one of the most bizarre romances of the 20. 20th century and this documentary Crazy Love, aka Love is in the Air. It shares the details of this very strange love affair and how when an extremely unlikely couple has stayed together for 30 years. Crazy Love is rated PG-13 and is out Friday. Our last movie is Daywatch, starring Konstantin Koblenski, Maria Proshina, Vladimir Menshoff, and Viktor Verhebovitsky. The summary of this movie, it's featuring the cinematic version of the cutting-edge director-writer Timur Bengampitiv. Daywatch is the next installment in the best-selling sci-fi novels of Sergar Lakhani. 
Daywatch comes out on Friday and is rated R. That is all for this weekend. I'm Lindsay Moss. See you all next week.